After learning a one-arm cartwheel, you can move on to an aerial cartwheel. Begin by learning the takeoff step. From an upright stance, arms up, long step forward into a front lunge. We show a long lunge. Face the floor the whole time. Next, put your chest on the lead thigh and pull arms to the chest and swing up the trailing leg. We'll see it done a little faster. Stance, arms up, long step forward, leg swing. You may hop on the lead leg and rest hands on the floor to support yourself during the leg swing as the force of the swing moves you forward. Once again, show a little more of that hop. Yes, it pulls forward. This move with its timing has to be done exactly. Remember that the raised arms are held close to the head, parallel to each other, and try to extend the lead leg far forward. The longer this step is, the higher the flight. The shorter the step, the lower and farther forward the flight. Let's take a look again at the takeoff step for the aerial cartwheel. Begin with arms overhead. Make a long step forward, lunge. The whole time face the floor. Arms straight, close to the head. Now pull the arms to the chest. The chest goes to the knee and the trailing leg swings up. Once again, a little faster. Stance, arms up, long step forward and swing, hop, fine. Once again, let's see it done fast. Stance, arms up, long step forward, chest to the knee, strong swing of the trailing leg. At the instance of the swing, straighten the push-off leg. After learning the takeoff step for the aerial cartwheel, we will do the aerial cartwheel off an elevation. From the same stance, arms up, long step forward, and swing the trailing leg. Spot by holding the student's hips just like you would spot the standard cartwheel. Once again, get on the box. As soon as the student makes the step, I catch her hip with the near hand. The other hand catches the other hip. I help to pull hips forward and let go only when the student has landed. From the same stance, Make a long step forward to the end of the elevation. Swing up the straight leg and the landing. Only after the landing, I stop spotting. Once again, the same thing. Spotting is the same as in the cartwheel. So, the first hand catches the near hip, the other hand catches the other hip, and at the instance of landing, I let go. After performing the aerial cartwheel off an elevation, move on to practicing it on the floor. Practice the aerial cartwheel with a power hurdle. That is, from a two-leg takeoff, jump up with arms raised, reach forward with the lead leg, and land in the front lunge with arms up. Once again, do the power hurdle forward. Extend the lead leg far forward so the takeoff is up. Swing the straight, trailing leg up. Land in the front lunge. We will execute the aerial cartwheel again with the power hurdle. In the previous tries, I felt that my student pushes off strongly, so now I will spot her with only one hand. This will let her land on her own. So, power hurdle, my hand pushes up and she lands on her own. Once again, I place one hand on her hip and lightly push up and forward in the direction of her travel. Power hurdle. Push under the hip with one hand and she lands on her own. Once again, the same thing. Power hurdle forward, push under the hip, and she lands by herself. To perform the aerial cartwheel with more power, do it with a pre-run and the power hurdle. So, two, three running steps, 
the power hurdle, reach far forward with the lead leg, and perform it again. In the power hurdle, stretch yourself far forward, then swing the straight leg, and land in the front lunge. Try not to lose balance after the landing. Remember that in the power hurdle, we stretch ourselves far forward, reach far with the leg, and right away we see that the jump is higher. Perfecting the aerial cartwheel, you can perform it facing squarely forward to land without a turn. This is called aerial forward walkover. Once again. The same power hurdle, swing the leg. In the second part of this technique, simply do not turn toward the floor, but move straight ahead, like in a front handspring.